In 2005, a supervisor called for detectives to respond to conduct the investigation into David Castor's death. On that day, it appeared that this very well may be a suicide. The first time I saw Stacy, she was at the neighbor's house sitting on some steps and just sobbing, crying. Um, at that point, Detective Lashinsky went to speak with Stacy. At that point, she seemed credible. Her emotions seemed appropriate. Um, she had enough recall about all the activities through the weekend. I scheduled an appointment with her for her to come down to headquarters. I was with her for an extended period of time at headquarters, gathering the information, getting her statement. She had mentioned to me that she and David had watched a nighttime documentary show in which a woman um, had killed a husband with antifreeze. That seemed odd to me at the time and became significant later on. After about a week, when I met with Detective Lashinsky, she explained to me that she had re-interviewed Stacy Castor. And during that interview, Stacy told her that her first husband, Michael Wallace, had died as well. She had told me that he had died of a heart attack. When Detective Lashinsky relayed that to me, that's probably when it, it started that something might not be right here. After the death of David Castor, it was ruled uh, suicide by ethyl glycol poisoning, um, which would have been the antifreeze. We followed the evidence trail and as that progressed, we realized this may not be a suicide after all. If we could show that Michael Wallace had died by a homicide, then they would rule David Castor's death a homicide as well. The Stacey Castor case is still referred to as the Castor case, you know, amongst police work and in our department. You know, it was a special case, best case of my career. Some ways it made me, some ways it broke me. I still think sometimes about her, frankly, the, the coldness in a human being that can remove two husbands from her life because they were inconvenient towards her. And I can say my whole time in police work, I still question things about human beings and how they get to the places they get to. How an individual can be so desperate to kill another human being.